We're now looking at how we can use text and imagery in design work. Working towards the Vibrant Valley exhibition, think about the sorts of images that would represent our valley, the sorts of characteristics, the, the rural qualities, the different traditions, the things that make our valley unique. They're the sort of images we're going to want to include, the things that have inspired artists for generations, looking at the beauty of the local area we live in. Having designed our own face maker inspired alphabet, we're going to look at how we can start to develop words of positivity that reflect our local area using that alphabet that you've created. If you've got a word with four letters in, you can actually trace those letters onto your A5 postcard. If you want more letters, you may need to draw it freehand or find some way of reducing the scale. As you can see, we can see through the tracing paper and position it over the top of the letters that you want to trace. Once you've decided what your word is and which letters you're going to use, decide how they would fit best on the tracing paper. Start to position them and get yourself a nice pencil, with, preferably with a soft lead. You place the tracing paper over the top of the letters. Holding your tracing paper in place quite firmly, you go over the letters, pressing on quite hard with the lead so that the, there is a, a reasonable coverage of lead on the tracing paper. The reason for this is because when we turn it over and start to work on the back of it, the pressure will transfer the marks that you've made on this particular side. You probably just want the outlines of shapes, you don't need to do the, the colouring in and you might decide to add some of the patterns more freehand afterwards rather than tracing every single detail if your design is a little bit more complicated. You can see on the sides of my 3D part of the H, I've not done all the individual stripes. I'm going to save those for later, they're easy enough to add in freehand later on. Once you've traced the letters, you need to think about how you're going to position them because it's important in your planning to think about where they're going to go. Are they going to be straight at the top, but that then covers up the logo in the middle? You could have an image underneath and above at the bottom or even diagonal. You can start to use the tracing paper and move it around to try and visualise and see what your design might look at. Sometimes we can split words, so you might have the word home over one side or you might have it running across in a straight line it's entirely up to you and these are the decisions that you need to make what's important to remember is that when you trace over the back of your tracing paper you are actually going to reverse the letters so you need to do this not on the original but onto a piece of scrap paper first just so that you are covering the backs of those letters the backs of those design lines with lead ready to turn it over and transfer it later on. You may find that actually here I'm doing the H and, and actually when it's flipped over, it, it still looks like a H. It's, it's reversed, but it does still look like a H. So I might not have needed to trace that um, backwards like this. The same for the O and the M. Those words, those letters, sorry, will, will look the same both ways round. The E, however, will look backwards if I trace it this way. So I need to make sure that I've covered the back of that with lead ready for turning it over the right way round. Because of the letters that I got in my word, I actually only really needed to trace the E backwards. The others could have all been flipped over and still read the same. But you've just got to think about that as you go along. You might want it exactly the same. You might not want the, the letter reversed. So you're ready to start positioning on your A5 card. Turn your tracing paper the right way round and then go over each of the lines, pressing on nice and hard so that that lead is transferring. If you hold the tracing paper in place and just lift it up and check underneath, you can make sure you've got the details there. And then as you remove the tracing paper, you can go over those lines, making sure that they're nice and clear and crisp and you've not missed off any of the details. Once you're happy, with the, the design and the details, you can choose a pen to go over it with. If you choose a waterproof pen, it means that you can use wet media over the top. It doesn't have to just rely on you using pencil crayons. So I suggest that you use something like a biro, a Sharpie pen, 
preferably with a, a thinner and a thicker end or something like a Mitsubishi pen, which is waterproof. Choose the pen that you're going to use, ready to outline the details. If you're using something like a Sharpie that goes through the page, then put some scrap paper or a scrap magazine behind it so that then, even if it goes through, it doesn't leave a mess in your working area on your desk or whatever's underneath it. Always really important when we're using this type of material. If you use a thin pen first so that you can go over and get the definition and the detail, you can make any changes to the design, you can alter any of the shapes that you want to as you go along. Then you can start to add in the thicker details um, and, and get that tonal contrast or the pattern contrast as you build it up. You can see as I move around the different letters, I'm adding in darker tones, creating contrast to dark bits within the mouth and maybe on some of the 3D sections. You might even decide you want another word. That's for you to play around with now. The final stage is to start to bring in any imagery into the background that you want to. You can sketch it out and start to build up the colours and the details around the lettering. On this one, I've decided to keep the lettering black and white, monochrome, and add colour into the background. You may decide to do it the other way around. You may decide to add colour to all of it. That's where you can play around with your design. Look at the imagery that you want to include. What are you going to put in yours? Get creative.